the beauty about being courageous is that if God has already told you to be courageous not to be afraid that should carry you for life not only for one experience to carry you for life because God does not die the one who spoke to you 20 years ago ah uh, he will be there in eternity Moses was afraid when he saw the Red Sea but the Bible says that God spoke to him and said why are you afraid why are you crying see there stop being afraid and he said cast that thing on the water and the rest was history that rod you are holding from that day Moses was never afraid. He confronted so many forces and he had victory. Somebody shout hallelujah. God is speaking to you this, this morning. Don't be afraid. Be courageous. You will have victory. And part of being courageous is also the courage to avoid sin. The courage to say no to sin. In Genesis 38, Eight to nine, Joseph had the temptation to sleep with his master's wife. It was not him looking for the woman, the woman was looking for him. But he had the correct to say, I will not do this thing. Hello, I will not do this against my master. Say, I will not do it at the right opportunity. Will you be courageous enough to say no to sin? I want to remind you. God cannot come and make you courageous. God wants you to be courageous. To know who is backing you up. Stop being afraid. Be courageous. He who is backing you up is too strong to fail. He has never failed he does not have the record of failure and he will never fail he will continue to back you up and you will sing very soon and testify that he who has backed you up has given you the courage to confront problems and that the problems have given way you will soon invite us to your celebration so shall it be in Jesus' name.